Hi folks, welcome to Market Board Videos. Today we're also doing chemistry problems, stoichiometry. These are mass volume problems, mass volume problems. Um, sometimes it's identified like that by your teacher, sometimes it's not. But anytime they talk about a volume and they ask for grams, it's considered a mass volume problem. As always with stoichiometry problems, we start out with an equation. 4 moles of aluminum plus 3 moles of oxygen gives us 2 moles of aluminum oxide. <coughs> Excuse me, and the first thing, we, second thing I guess we want to do is we want to check and make sure it's balanced. 4 aluminums, 4 aluminums, 6 oxygen, 6 oxygen, so I'm good. Now, I know these are mass volume problems, <coughs> so I'm going to read the problem. It says, calculate the volume of oxygen gas, so we need X number of liters, so that's a volume required to react with 50 grams of aluminum. So I have 50 grams of aluminum at STP. Okay, so aluminum is the only thing that maybe, hmm, I think I'm going to need the, the mass of both of these. So I just looked up aluminum. I see that it's 27 grams per mole. And oxygen is 16 grams per mole, but this is a diatomic molecule. It's O2. So it's 16 plus 16. It's 32 grams per mole. Not sure how we're going to handle this problem yet, but I know we do the same thing every time, and that is that we start out with what we know. I know I have 50 grams of aluminum, and I know I want to get to liters of oxygen. I can't go from grams to liters. I have to go from grams to moles. So first thing I need to know is how many moles is that? And there's 27 grams. 27 goes next to the G for every mole. And if I take my calculator, I have 50 divided by 27. That tells me there's 1.852 moles of aluminum. Not what I was looking for, but I'm on the right track. 1.852 moles of aluminum. I want to get rid of moles of aluminum. And I want to have moles of oxygen. Anytime you have moles over moles, you ignore everything else and you just look at your equation. Next to the moles of aluminum, I had a 4. Next to the moles of oxygen, I had 3. So I have 1.852 times 3 divided by 4, and that gives me 1.3889 moles of O2. Get in the habit of labeling your, your numbers. Your numbers need units. It makes a huge difference. 1.3889 moles. Why am I not worried about significant figures? Because I'll take all that into consideration at the end. All right, so I wanted liters. Oh, I know. I can go from moles of O2 to liters of O2. What's that magic number? It's 22.4. For every gas at STP, one mole of oxygen or one mole of the gas takes up 22.4 liters. So I'm going to cancel that. And I take my 1.3889 times 22.4, and this is where I'm going to pay attention to my sig figs. 31.1 liters of oxygen. I started with three sig figs, I should end with three sig figs. You don't want to round in the middle because sometimes that'll make your answer be off. So keep carrying your numbers, carrying your numbers. I actually just carried it on my calculator. I just let it go, go, go. I didn't change it at all. And then I rounded at the end. I, I counted sig figs at, at the end. So those are your mass volume problems. Anytime you have grams, you're going to need a periodic table. Anytime you have volume liters, you're going to use 22.4. And anytime it says mole over mole, you use your original equation. Don't worry about any of the information that was given. If you have any questions or need additional clarification, please email me or click um, leave a comment on this, on this video, and it will email me automatically, and I'd be happy to help. Have a great day. Thanks.